All right, YouTube fans, I thought I'd show you some haunted house room design. Uh, I've been contracted by Asylum 49 in Tooele, Utah to do uh, some room makeovers. Uh, we're entering into the x-ray room. Uh, a couple little surprises around here. Um, so I'm gonna go around the corner in here. The first thing, um, this room just was completely open originally. And the first thing I did was created an actor hide behind this little uh, poster metal thing. So the actor can hide behind there, take one of those little bedpans, smack it on that desk really, really loud. I'll give you an example of what that sounds like. Oh yeah, that definitely is a, a good startle scare. So um, Asylum is a really hands-on oriented place um, and they had a, a stretcher here to do hands-on. And uh, one of the things that I really like is to keep a couple together while they're walking through instead of completely separating them. So I added into this closet uh, a surprise. It had been filled with shelves and uh, we added a couple little gory things. We need to add a little bit more blood. I only show it quickly for the sake of YouTube, but we can put a person inside that closet, shut the door and then mess with their loved one on this stretcher. We can switch places with them um, put one in, put one out, but it's just another uh, really fun hands-on perspective. So one of you goes in the closet, one of you goes on the stretcher, we mess with you. So coming out of this room, previously you would walk straight through this door and just keep going. Um, but I like to uh, add as many startle scares as possible. So I made an actor hide behind this curtain so that an actor can come flying out of that curtain right at you. They can drag you behind the curtain if they want to, to mess with part of you. Uh, they can let you go to the right, which is the real direction to go. But one more thing I added uh, behind these curtains, it was this really cool closet. So uh, we added a place we can put someone in here. There's a speaker added up there with a really terrifying sound. So they can take you in here and shove you in the complete dark while they mess with your companion out here if they want to. Um, so again, they can come flying out of those curtains. Perfect place for an actor to hide. They can come in here, drag you behind there, or let you go. Now the next thing I did is these two uh, doors were shelves but they are the perfect size for a person. So inside, we created a division, removed the shelves, and we haven't added any gore or anything yet, but added some speakers up in the top of those with a really creepy sound. So put one person on one side, the other person on the other side. You can change them around, so you can pull someone out of those closets, put them in this closet, take them around, put them behind the curtain over there in the closet. Just give you really a lot of opportunity for Asylum 49 to mess with you. So again, we'll add some gore that'll get changed, but, but it's a lot of fun. So this area over here had just been a, uh, a counter. So I cut a hole in that counter to make a pathway. So you used to just go straight through here and someone would mess with from the side, but now you go this direction and it gives it the opportunity for the actor to mess with you from behind this curtain. A couple little places for them to pop out, harass you. Around this corner, we've added a television set and it's got a Christmas thing playing right now, but that's okay. We're gonna change it for some operation stuff. Little blinky lights, some fun little things. Now, we've also added some animation. This is what's called a corpse pult And that guy is gonna come flying at you. Uh, I like to add animation where we can't place the actor. So this is just a corner. Uh, you can't get a person over there, but you can put an animated thing. So they just got hit with the actors behind this curtain, come around the corner, they see a television, lets their guard down, and the strobe light's gonna go off when I go here. I don't have the air hooked up. This is a pneumatic effect, but as soon as they walk about here, this guy comes flying at you, and he's fun. I mean, I can throw him, he goes way up high, so. That's kind of what he does, super, super fun. So, love animation. So going this direction, this room had been opened up completely as well. I added this curtain section that allows an actor to hide behind there and choose the time that they want to come out. So 
we added this this hiding place uh, some really cool pieces I won't show the second one she's a little bit too gory I think for YouTube but the actor can also hide behind the curtain above them so one of the uh, classic things to scare people is to allow someone to come from one direction or the other direction you never know when someone's going to come from one place or the other and if you overwhelm and overload a person that's super scary because they can't handle it. So you could have someone fly out of that at you, someone fly out of this at you. You never know which side they're gonna come out. And they can also come underneath these uh, things as well. Super scary. Um, behind here, I like to be as efficient with scaring as I possibly can. So the actor here can actually scare in another direction. So the patrons are gonna be behind that wall after they go through here. And so we created into the doors what we call drop panels. So with this little actor cubby, you've got these two drop panels that can be actuated by the actor around here. And there'll be some sounds on the other side so they'll be able to tell. But when it's time, check it out, you just drop this little thing right here. That panel drops out and uh, got some creepiness that happens over there. Same on this side, little drop panel. And then this actor can scare into these whole corridors and then turn around and harass people into this room. So super fun, um, very scary and very efficient for your actors. So add some dead bodies and some other things off here. You never know to uh, create some suspense. That guy, he really looks like he's alive. I'm gonna shine down here as I go by cause she's a little bit gory. So underneath here, you could uh, either do an air blast or you've got a space for an actor to go to. He could be down there. And again, here's that place where the actor can come flying out. Lots of room for them to come out, interact, really harass people. Like we said, they're super hands-on here. So I wanna be able to touch people. Um, if to, to be able to choose who you touch, you have a, a bracelet that goes on your wrist or around your neck, a necklace that glows that tells them that you are a hands-on person. Now, one more thing I added is this door is brand new this year. Um, it hasn't been painted yet, but it hides pretty well. And the place you're gonna go is through these, uh, these plastic panels. So you can go through here, but I, I made one more startle scare spot. This door, the actor from behind her can come flying, flying out, slam the door open, come out here. And there's actually a direction where you can pull one of the patrons through there get them in front of their group, mess with them, and then get them back together. So most of the group has to go through this direction, but you can haul one person through there and mess with them some more on hands-on. And that's a super good startle scare. So there you go, some of the room design here at Asylum 49. There's lots of pop-outs, some automation, some cool special effects, and uh, overall this should be extremely scary. So I hope you enjoyed some haunted house room design. Again, these rooms were just kind of open completely. We added some uh, closets to put patrons inside. They're dark, there's a soundtrack playing. We uh, added a ton of places for people to jump out. Uh, lots of startle scares, lots of interaction, and I uh, hope you guys all come out and see Silent 49 this year.